this is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 video games that ripped off from anime and manga. For this list, we'll be looking at games throughout history that we felt most obviously, and with seemingly no regrets, borrowed elements of various popular anime and manga. Can you think of any video games that ripped off anime? Let us know in those comments below, and as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 10 Xenogears from Gundam Franchise While it's very clear that Xenogears is a love letter to the mecha genre, it clearly takes many notable cues from various series in the Gundam franchise. Graf, who serves as the foil to the protagonist, is clearly based on Char, as they both don a mask and wear red. How's that? Huh? The unstable girl Ellie pilots the mecha Verge, which uses abilities very similar to the Cubile that was also piloted by the equally unstable Puru in Gundam Double Zeta. And while the iconic G Gundam pose is also featured in the game, one of the most notable scenes is when all the mecha get together and stop a missile strike, a scene that is clearly based on the Char's counterattack finale. Number 9, Azura's Wrath, from Various. Azura's Wrath borrows so much from Various anime that it could probably have its own dedicated top 20 on the matter, but for this entry, we'll just focus on some of the more interesting aspects. The entire intro scene of the game is very much based on the battles in Gunbuster, with the enemy Goma carriers looking just like the space monsters from that franchise. Also, the climactic finale is a big shout out to Guren Lagann's second movie, with a supermassive mech battle leading into a one on one fist fight in a space void. Number 8, League of Legends, from various Magical Girl anime. While a lot of these skins featured in this extremely popular MOBA are based on many parts of pop culture, none of them seem to stand out quite so much as the Star Guardian line. Let's show them what we're made of! Inspired by the magical girl genre, the Star Guardian line takes from many shows such as Cardcaptor Sakura, Maruka Magica, Precure, and most notably, Sailor Moon. Lux's dance references Doki Doki Precure, and her recall animation is heavily based on various transformation sequences in Sailor Moon. Number 7, Rondo of Swords from Fate Stay Night. Here I go. This obscure strategy RPG was released for the Nintendo DS in 2008 and features a character who shares a lot with everyone's favorite anime interpretation of King Arthur, Saber. <laughs> <coughs> Aside from the fact that his outfit is pretty much exactly the same as Saber's, the protagonist, Sirdic, rips many traits from her, such as the fact they're both unwilling kings. And whereas Saber was mistaken for a man in the Fate lore, Sirdic himself goes the opposite route and has very feminine traits. Number 6, Mega Man from Astro Boy. Oh. 
While it's been said that Mega Man's design was based on anime and tokusatsu, it really doesn't take much to realize that Mega Man was heavily inspired by Astro Boy and its take on the classic Pinocchio tale. My new son is going to be a credit to the original Astro Boynton. Like Astro Boy, who was created by Dr. Tenma, Mega Man is created by the scientist Dr. Light. Both take on superhero roles and fight off against evil robotic combatants. A bit on the nose there, folks. <laughs> Number 5. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 from Dragon Ball Z At first glance, these side-scrolling adventures of gaming's most enduring blue hedgehog don't appear to have an obvious connection to Dragon Ball Z. The former deals with the liberation of woodland creatures and running through increasingly mechanized levels, while the latter focuses on space warriors punching one another for sport and conquest. Yet in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the situation changed with the expanded role of the Chaos Emeralds, seven colorful gems which enhance the holder's reflexes and strength. The similarity of these seven Dragon Balls aside, there's also the matter of how Sonic's superpowered form is called Super Sonic and involves his fur turning bright yellow. Hmm. Number 4 Dark Souls from Berserk Franchise Many a person has found themselves drawn to the melancholic, brutal, and challenging world of Dark Souls. From its menagerie of grotesque beasts to the subtleties of its world building, the game enthralls and engages to no end. What's not immediately apparent about the game, though, is how much of it is built on affectionate nods to Berserk. Various enemies like the Bone Wheel Skeletons and Knight Artorius call back to their earlier dark fantasy anime, as do more incidental details. More broadly, Dark Souls seems drawn to the anime's patented blend of harsh violence and cynical stories about a world in decline, using it as inspiration. Number 3 Persona 4 from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Diamond is Unbreakable. Past works in the Persona series have been noted for appearing to take cues from the manga turned anime JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, with the most notable being the Personas themselves, which are clearly inspired by JoJo's stands. Yet it took until the widely acclaimed Persona 4 for the game's mirroring of particular plot threads to become clear. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Persona 4 is primarily set in a rural Japanese town and focuses on a group of high schoolers who aim to unravel a conspiracy of supernatural forces and bizarre murders. For many in the audience, it seemed awfully evocative of the basic premise, setting, and themes of the manga's 1992-1995 to arc, Diamond is Unbreakable, adapted to animation in 2016. Whether it's intentional or merely great minds thinking alike, the resemblance is, well, quite hard to deny. <sighs> Number 2 Oni from Ghost in the Shell Muro, stop! Killer, I have a plane to catch. Is it a loving homage or a shameless ripoff? When reflecting on their work in crafting the 2001 action game Oni, Bungie West made no secret of what directly influenced their work, 1995's Ghost in the Shell. That landmark animated film peeks out from every facet of Oni, a dystopian future cityscape, a superhuman heroine, working for a questionable government agency, ruminations on the subject of humanity and anti-authoritarian resistance. So committed were Bungie to paying tribute that even the game's name is a knowing reference. 
Oni is a mythological creature sometimes depicted as a supernatural spirit known as a yokai. Unfortunately, that means you could pose a threat to me. I can't allow that. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 Extinction from Attack on Titan That's the last time this Raveni will mess with a sentinel. Tell us if you've heard this one before. A species of towering beasts begin targeting the last of humanity in a medieval setting. The only chance for survival is a handful of fighters who swing around with grappling hooks and who slay the beasts by cutting into the back of their necks. The extent to which Extinction appears to borrow from the notes of Attack on Titan is astounding, even beyond a clear fixation on the same core premise. Much of the combat looks and feels the same, there's the expected emphasis on methodical strikes against highly resilient beasts, and various cutscene shots seem lifted straight from the anime. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.